Hello everyone. In this presentation, we are going to see about the selection criteria for doing a post and core restoration. There are multiple clinical situations. In all of those clinical situations, the same type of post and core restorations are not acceptable. In each of those clinical situations, we may have to choose a type of the post material which is different in order to match with the specific clinical situation. In this presentation, we are going to find answer for that big question that is present in most of the clinician's mind. We can see in these pictures that there are multiple clinical situations where there is a maxillary canine where you can see that the, there is a gross decay and the complete tooth structure is lost and there is a molar with a complete destruction. Here there is a, a mandibular molar with two of the cusps which are completely missing and here you can see a lateral incisor which is fractured and it is also proclined and here you can see a mandibular premolar which is fractured and there is a maxillary canine which has been fractured and and you can see the pell tissue also. So in all these clinical situations, what will be our post selection criteria? So let's see a little into these details. And at the end of this video, you yourself will be able to come to a decision making of selecting the right post for these situations. So broadly, we can say that there are three types of post and core materials that we have to understand. One, it is the prefabricated metal post and the second is a prefabricated fiber post and the third is the commonly called as the ribbon type of post materials or, called, uh, or maybe we can say that polyethylene fibers. We will see in detail about all these things. So first we are going to see about the prefabricated metal post. So there are, they are available with different materials. We can see here, I have placed three types of prefabricated metal posts. The first one, it is made of titanium. The second one is made of stainless steel. And the third one is a brass post. Are they good? Some people are totally against the prefabricated metal post and some dentists love to do the prefabricated metal post. So what are the good and the bad about the prefabricated metal post? One, they are available at different sizes, maybe the small, the bigger ones, maybe they are available at different length, the shorter ones and the longer ones, and they are uh, very, very less expensive. And the placement procedure is also fairly very simple. But what's the problem with the prefabricated metal post is some dentists prefer to place it and thread it. They are also called as the screw post. So they tightly screw the post inside the root. So what happens is in the long term, it can lead to a vertical root fracture. Otherwise also, if we have placed a metal post and if the tooth undergoes a trauma, there are good chances that the root itself will fracture because these metal posts are too strong. And so that the instead of the post getting bent during a trauma, the root itself will get fractured. So in order to prevent this, it is a common suggestion that uh, prefabricated fiber post can be used. But there are many situations where the prefabricated metal posts are ideally indicated. One such situation is the posts which are placed in the premolars and molars. In premolars and molars, the forces which are directed towards the tooth is mostly vertical. In case of anterior teeth, the forces which are directed are lateral. So in cases of the laterally directed forces, like in the anterior teeth, we can go for a fiber post. In case of the forces which are vertically directed, like in a premolar and a molar, we can always go for a prefabricated metal post. And there is also another concern which says that uh, the prefabricated metal posts are not aesthetic. And so we must go for a fiber post. So with the advanced core buildup material, like a very good composite materials which are available, I don't consider that the placement of a metal post is going to affect the aesthetics. Maybe a zirconia crown if you are going, 
The zirconia itself is completely radio opaque, whether it is a prefabricated metal post or fiber post which is present inside a zirconia crown, both the zirconia being a radio opaque material, it doesn't make any difference. But because in order to avoid the fracture, it is always preferable to go for a prefabricated fiber post in anterior teeth and for premolars and molars it is always preferable to go for a prefabricated metal post. So the next one which is we are going to see is the prefabricated fiber post. Again the fiber posts are also available in different sizes, different configurations but it, it has to be bonded to the tooth with a resin material. A good resin or adhesive resin cement is mandatory for adhesion of a prefabricated fiber post. But in case of a metal post, we can even uh, loot it with the help of a glass enamel cement. Uh, I do not prefer to threaden the metal post inside the root canal. I prefer to place it passively and loot it with a glass enamel cement or a resin cement depending upon the material of your choice. If you are comparing the strength of a prefabricated metal post compared to that of the fiber post, definitely the metal posts are stronger, especially the titanium and the stainless steel post. Again, among the prefabricated metal posts, I prefer the titanium or the stainless steel compared to that of prefabricated brass post. This prefabricated fiber post also almost always come with a drill of the specific dimension. So we have to prepare with the drills which comes along with the color coded dimension of the fiber post so that it is the placement is easy. One important point that we have to understand about the prefabricated fiber post is all prefabricated fiber posts are not the same. A prefabricated fiber post of a good quality is essential in order to retain the core and also for a long term success. If you have, if you are, if you are doing a prefabricated fiber post and there is a constant debonding, do not concentrate more on your uh, type of the looting material that you are using or thinking of changing the type of the cementing material instead change the post. There are many affordable post material which are available in the market which are of uh, which are I doubt whether they are even fibers or not. We could say that they are just plastic material that do not bond with the resin cement. So if you are going for a prefabricated fiber post, it should be of a good quality one and not something that is available on the market for at a very, very affordable cost. The third type of the post material, which is the material of my choice, or nowadays I prefer to do most of the post with this material, which we can call it as a polyethylene fibers or in simple terms, it is called as a uh, ribbon type of material. What's the advantage of this material is it is a polyethylene fiber which is non-impregnated means it can be cut into the any definitive shape that we want of any length that we want and they are also available at 2 millimeter, 3 millimeter, 4 millimeter width and we have to just wet it with a wetting agent or maybe a universal bonding agent then we have to place it inside the root canal and we can do it as a post. What are the biggest advantage of this material is it can be manipulated in any of the direction that we want. For example, if you are taking a metal post or a fiber post, it's always straight. But this adapts to the root canal space inside a oval shaped canal. It gets adapted to ovally or a triangular shaped root canal. It gets adapted and also the core also it can be a tilted to any of the direction that we want. Maybe a little proclined, we can move it labially or lingually as we want and then we can do the core builder. So this is a wonderful material and, and I am practicing it for such a long time and the placement procedure is also quite easy and we can use it almost universally in most of the clinical situation. One thing that we have to consider is we cannot cut this material with a normal scissors. We have to get a, a specific cutting scissor which is 
specially available for this purpose. Some three materials which are of this type, which is of my choice. One, it's the ribbon that is the pioneer material and maybe the best material. And the second material of choice is interleak. That's also a beautiful material and an affordable material is called in fibra. So any of these material you can use, take a specific length, place it in, in, inside the root canal and then do the core buildup. Your, uh, your post is not going to break for a lifetime. I, I trust me, it is very easy and it is very, very good. So what are the situations where we have to do a post and core? Do we need to place a post in all the clinical situation no in case of grossly distracted tooth where at least one of the cusp is totally missing and the next situation is fractured tooth maybe at the cervical one third if it has fractured in those situations for doing a placing a crown we have to place a uh, we have to do a post and core then specifically we want to change the angulations trust me most of the clinical situations where in an anterior tooth, if a patient is coming with a trauma and a fracture, it would be most frequently it is a proclined tooth. So in those situations, if you want to change the angulation of the crown and then we have to do, then we have to go for a post and core and preferably with a ribbon type of post and core. And, and one of the indication for doing a post and core is if for example if you are going to place a fixed partial danger from canine to canine the preferably the canine should go for a post and core because whenever we are going to do an fpd a fixed partial danger there will be a lot of lateral forces in order to tackle this lateral forces we have to place a post and whenever there are some deep cervical abrasions maybe the mandibular premolars where uh, we can see the root canal through the cervical abrasions we must place a post and core in order to rehabilitate that tooth okay so then how are you going to select the post so i have given some simple ideas and now we will see for an anterior tooth if you want to change the angulation we will go for a ribbon type of post and core if you don't want to change the angulation we will go for a fiber post for a posterior tooth we can go for a prefabricated metal post why because they can be placed they are available in very shorter lengths they are very small and maybe even in very very uh, small thickness they are quite very strong so a prefabricated metal post is preferable and if you want to change the angulation the anterior tooth always go for a rebound or a interleg or a in fibra type of post and depending upon the size of the root canal space which is available if we are having only a very narrow space go for a small size prefabricated metal post instead of making it wider and going for a bigger size fiber post remember that fiber posts in very small dimensions are not very very strong okay so then the depending upon the type the length of the post space available again for a fiber a fiber post in order to be stronger we have to have sufficient length so whenever the shorter lengths are available, then it is also better to go for a prefabricated metal post or we can go for this polyethylene fibers. So they get bonded well to the tooth structure and even in shorter lengths, they are quite strong. Okay, now we will see some of the situation. So uh, if you want to change the alignment, we have to always go for a ribbon type of post. And whenever in the anterior tooth, there will be a lateral forces. So we will go for a prefabricated fiber post or we will go for a ribbon type of post. And depending upon the length available here, you can see, for example, this uh, mandibular lateral incisor needs a post. It is going to be a quite a narrow and also a shorter tooth. So in those situations, we can go for a smaller size prefabricated metal post although there may be some of the lateral forces but instead of preparing a wide post space that in a mandibular lateral incisor or central incisor can lead to a strip perforation in order to avoid that even in certain situations even in an anterior tooth we can go for a prefabricated metal post it is not a problem 
Okay, so finally, now we have come back to the same slide where we have started. So in this first situation, so what will be the post of your choice? We will go for a prefabricated fiber post. So in this molar, we will go for a prefab prefabricated metal post, Pro uh, preferably in both of these canals, we will go for a prefabricated metal post. So here in this mandibular premolar, we shall go for a prefabricated metal post. Again, for this molar also, we can go for prefabricated metal post, but there is a type of restoration which I prefer to do is, I will place a post here and here, and then with the help of a fiber, I will encircle both of these posts. So that will give uh, added uh, support to the restoration and it is going to be a very, very strong restoration. So in this lateral incisor, we want to change the angulation because the lateral incisor is proclined. So whenever we want to change the angulation, we should always go for the prefabricated fibers. That is the uh, polyethylene fibers we, sh uh, we should go. So in this fractured maxillary canine, it is always preferable to go for a prefabricated fiber post because there will be a lot of lateral forces. The canine length will be of adequate and the size of the pulp chamber will also be adequate. So in those situations, we can go for a prefabricated fiber post. So I hope that you would have got a little idea about the selection criteria for doing the post and code restorations. So hopefully choose the post and code material depending upon the clinical situation and depending upon the uh, specific requirement so that that can perform better. So not one type of post is universal. It's not the fiber post, it's not the metal post or it's not the ribbon type of post. So depending upon each clinical situations, we have to choose the fiber post or the prefabricated metal post or the ribbon type of post for the clinical situation. I hope this presentation is useful. In the next week, I will come with another presentation. Stay focused until have a nice day. Thank you for watching.